Honestly, you can see the big smile on my face here before I even start this video. But how are we doing, everyone? I'm looking forward to this one. I'm looking forward to talking about Manchester United. I'm looking forward to discussing in a bit more detail in this video this new togetherness, this new personality, this new edge to this Manchester United team that just seemed, well, what, only four games ago when we got pumped 4-0 by Brentford, the, the wheels are falling off before the wheels even went on. But that's all changed. And there's a, there is a new found togetherness that I want to discuss in this video. So make sure you drop a like on it because it's going to be a cracker. And make sure you watch it all, honestly. Sit back, enjoy the next, what, nine minutes of your life. Because I enjoyed the 90 minutes yesterday. Maybe not all 90 minutes, but Manchester United against Arsenal there. Uh, I personally felt it was the biggest test of the season. Uh, Liverpool was at that point in time, but the form of Arsenal going into the game, uh, it was dangerous. And it was a dangerous game, in my opinion. One of the most high-quality games of football I've watched United play in the Premier League and come out on top of in a long, long time. And there's so many different things that we can talk about from that game. But in his interview after the match, I think Marcus Rashford said it better than I could. And it really, for me, sums up exactly what has changed at Manchester United. When he was asked this question by Jeff Shreves. As well as the points, what do you take out of today? Uh, to govern us is the big thing for me. Um, you know, we win. You only win these types of games when you when you're within a team. Um, I think we've shown in the in the last few games. Um, you know, being one a lot that we can see a game out. Um, but we had to be a, a team to you know be more ruthless really and get more goals. Uh... Togetherness is for me the biggest thing that I can say that there is a, there is such a polar opposite compared to where we were a few games ago to where we are now. And there really, quite honestly, are so many different examples I could pull up to show you that. Honestly, it's ridiculous. Whether it's whether it's our whole defence putting their bodies on the line and just defending as an absolute unit, all the back five working together, whether it's Diogo Delo celebrating blocks like it's a goal against Leicester as we win 1-0 and we shut them out, whether it's Martinez screaming quite seemingly in the face of everybody <laughs> in a positive way, whether it's him celebrating with Anthony after Anthony scored on his debut, both of them joining for Ajax. It's a cracking moment for him and a cracking moment for both of them, actually. Whether it's Bruno Fernandes, whether it's Rafael Varane, whoever you look at, it's fantastic. And I'll tell you who is a massively significant part of all of that. It's this man here. Lissandro Martinez has been nothing short of phenomenal. Uh, that may, uh, look, he had a shaky start. Cool. Yeah, we, we had a shaky start as a football club. Brighton and Brentford. Jeez, we didn't know what we were doing. The pressures of the Premier League undid the hard, good work that happened in pre-season. Took everyone by surprise. Took Eric Ten Hag by surprise. But Martinez, he's a fundamental part of this new personality and edge that we've got. But in the same way that I say the problems at Manchester United as a football club, you have to go to the roots. You have to go to the Glazers, and they are the fundamental problem of our football club. If we're looking at this football team and we're saying, look, look, look at this new personality, look at this new edge, look at everything, you have to go to the roots of the football team. And you have to go to Eric Ten Hag because he is the man who has instilled this change, instilled this, whatever you want to call it, belief, self-confidence, awareness, so many different superlatives that you could you could associate with it but the big thing here when it comes to Eric Ten Hag is he is not not even one iota he's not getting carried away with what he's seeing four wins from four it doesn't matter because he wants more from day one he set high standards and this is what he said in his post-match uh, reaction well not post-match reaction in his comments on Sky Sports after the game um, yeah that's a process Hey, but you have to uh, live every day high standards. And that is my demand, that I, my coaches' demands. And I think also the players uh, in our team uh, yep. has that demand. Uh, we have already many players in the team who win a lot of trophies. And they have to bring that in the dressing room. Uh, every day, get the best out of you. And um, demand it from each other. And then we will uh, even more improve. And that's what we've seen from day one with Eric Ten Hag is the demands that he's set on these players from the beginning of preseason throughout all preseason. And it will continue throughout this whole season. Eric Ten Hag is setting their own demands on himself as a coach. And we are seeing the consequence of having a coach that the players are truly believing in and listening to. But he wants more. 
Eric Ten Hag's not getting carried away here. We beat top of the league. Cool. Yeah, we're still two points behind City and we lost the first couple of games of the season. It's not the be-all and end-all. And he wants more. He said this after the game. He said, Arsenal played well. We defended well. I never had the feeling they would break us with their possession, movement, and creativity. We defend as a team with all 11, but we can get better. We are not that long in the process. Another quote here. We have to keep pushing mentality. Attitude. I think there is a lot of room for improvement. Everyone's got to bring their maximum every day to Carrington to bring this process in the right direction. I'm not now thinking we are there, but we are in a good direction. Yeah, another quote. I understand the fans. They dream, but we are at the start of the process. We are still far away. One more here. We can still do things better with pressing. We had a good plan, but the incoming from Zinchenko gives them overnumbering in midfield. We can be more composed on the ball. Don't give it away. Eric Ten Hag is setting standards at Manchester United. He's holding himself accountable to those same standards and he's making sure every single one of these players, they hold themselves accountable to it as well. Because we know full well what happened against Brentford. Uh, you could say it was a new low for Manchester United. It was just it was just another example of it. I, I, I said that the, the first two games of the season felt like the 39th and the 40th games of last season. But since Liverpool, following up with Southampton and Leicester, and now Arsenal, it's the first four games of something new and something different. But for me, I think this is, a, this is such a crucial part of what we're seeing is the reaction to the game against Brentford. And going back to what, uh, rewinding here to the start of the video, when I, spoke, I pulled up the interview of Marcus Rashford, what was the one word that he used there? Togetherness. How about this for togetherness? I said it at the time that it, for me it was a fantastic show of management. But after the game against Brentford, where well, the players were absolutely abysmal and they deserved any punishment they got. Because Brentford collectively ran 13.8 kilometres more than Manchester United on the day, he forced every single player to do that running session the next day after that game. But Ten Hag joined in. Ten Hag didn't just drop his players. Ten Hag didn't just throw his players under the bus. He threw himself under the bus as well. Collectively. Going back, reiterating there, that word from Marcus Rashford, togetherness. You're not going to get more of an example of togetherness than, than that. Of Eric Ten Hag taking it upon himself. Say, look, you failed as players. Obviously, I failed as a coach then as well. Cool, I'll do the run with you. But then you, you're just seeing it. There's so many photos that you can pull up. The togetherness here, Marcus Rashford celebrating with Anthony after he scored his debut. Bruno after the game. Togetherness, everybody as a unit. Working Pulling in the same direction. Because if you don't, if you have an anchor that's stuck in the sand, that player that just doesn't want to come on board with you, that isn't 100% committed, then it will drag you apart as a team. You will find holes in it. And the style of football that Eric Ten Hag has demands that everybody plays together. But as I said, that honestly, that whether it's uh, talking about Diogo Delo celebrating that block, as I said, whether it's Martinez and just that... The embodiment of this new personality, fight and spirit that this United team has got. Getting everybody to settle in well. It's just, it puts a big smile on my face. This bloke puts a big smile on my face. This bloke puts a big smile on my face. And United right now are putting a big fucking smile on my face. I'm sure they're putting it on yours as well. It's the start of something new. We're nowhere near the end of the process. But we are in a process. We are in a direction. And I can confidently tell you the direction we're going in what he wants from all of his players and hopefully where we will get towards. That is a testament to the work of Eric Ten Hag so far as manager. It's not easy what he's doing, what he's asking these players to do. But what we've seen in these last four games is what can happen if the players are 100% on board with Eric Ten Hag. He's now just got these four games. He can go in and say, look, guys, this is what we can do. Trust me. Follow me on this journey. This is where we can get to. I know you're all better than you were last season, but you have to show it. You've got to do it. And I think we're starting to see it now. Let's find out what happens against Real Sociedad. I imagine we're going to get a lot of changes. I want to see a, a, a cha much changed team, but a very similar style of performance. Then we've got Palace. The games are going to start coming thick and fast. And we've got nine games in October as well. So if we're talking about this big word here, big word, I mean, it's quite a long word, this big buzzword here, togetherness we need to see that the second 11's got to start delivering these sorts of performances but i'm loving what i'm seeing from united at the moment i'm loving that the work that ten Hag's put in is starting to bear fruit and that the players as marcus rashford said there they're together and that collective unit is make is going to make this united team totally different 
of what we've grown to expect from United over the last few years.